Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 19 of US examination geometry section. In this question, as you can see, we are dealing with the trapezoid. So what do we have? We have AB which is equal to AD which is equal to A. So AD is equal to AB and both are equal to 8. We have BC which is equal to 14. So this is equal to 14. So let me write it. So we have 14 and DC is equal to X. So we have to find the value of DC or X. Now, what do we do over here? If I see that this is 8, this is 8, and if I draw a perpendicular line here to BC, what, uh, what do I create here? I create a square. Why? Because if this is 8, this will be equal to 8, and this will be equal to 8. Now, if, if, if let me call this F, so if BF is equal to 8, then FC, what will be equal to? It will be equal to 14 minus 8, which is equal to 6. Now what do we have here? We see that we have, we created a right triangle and as you can see is a common right triangle. Why? Because if one of the sides is 8 and the other side is 6, we know now that x or hypotenuse it will be equal to 10. Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 20. In this question as you can see we are dealing with the trapezoid. So let's see the information. We have AB which is equal to these, uh, which is parallel pardon me so we have AB which is parallel to DC we have AD which was which is perpendicular to DC creating a 90 degree angle we have uh, angle ACB which is equal to 120 degrees we have angle ABC which is equal to 30 degrees we have the side AB which is equal to 8 and we are as the area of this trapezoid now what do we know what do we need to, uh, what do we need to have in order for us to be able to find the area of the trapezoid? We need the two bases and we need the height. As soon as we have those, all we have to do is divide them by two. Uh, of course, it's going to be a multiplication of the height, the, two, uh, the addition of the two uh, bases times the height div uh, all over two. So divided by two, it will give us the area of the trapezoid. Now, how do we get to the height of this trapezoid? As you can see, we have a triangle over here. And we see that this is 120 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Knowing that all interior, uh, interior angles of a triangle are equal to 180 and the, the sum of these two angles is 150, it means that this angle is equal to 30 degrees. As you can see now, we have two uh, equal angles, which means that also sides are equal to each other. So this side is equal to this side. Now, what, did we, uh, what do we know when we have a... An isosceles triangle. If I draw a perpendicular line to the base here, what do I do? The base will be split into two equal parts. So A, I'm going to name this as F. So AF will be equal to 4. FB will also be equal to 4. As you can see, another thing that we did here by drawing this perpendicular line to the base, the degree of 120, I split it into two equal parts, creating two equal angles of 60 degrees now as you can see we have a special right triangle because we have a 90 degree 30 degree and we have a 60 degree uh, right triangle now what do we know we know that if the side if the side uh, the side in front of the end of the 60 degree angle in this case is 4 what's going to be the side in front of the 30 degree angle is going to be this side over square root of 3 so this side in this case is equal to 4 over square root of 3. What is another thing that we did here? By drawing this perpendicular line, I created uh, two, uh, two equal sides. Now this side, AF, is equal to, will be equal to DC. So in this case, if AF is 4, DC will be equal to 4. Now we have every single information we need to find the area of this trapezoid. We have the height, the length of the two bases, and uh, we can just divide it by 2. So let's find the area. The area of A, B, C, D trapezoid is equal to base 1, the upper base, plus the bottom base times the height, which is 4 over square root of 3, over 2. So what do we have here? We have 12 times 4 over square root of 3 over 2. So we can simplify this. We have uh, in uh, we have six, six times four. Uh, six times four is a twenty-four. So twenty-four over square root of 
3 is the final answer for this question. This is the area of this trapezoid. Greetings everyone and welcome to question number 21. So as you can see in this uh, problem we will be dealing with circles. So it is said that BA is tangent to the O centered circle on the point A. And if AB is equal to AC, so we have these two sides equal to each other, what is the value of angle ABC? So what is the value of X? Now, we have to bring, we have to use the information that we know regarding circle so we will be able to get to the point where it will be very easy for us to find the value of x. Now, what am I going to do here? The first thing that we have to, 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 uh, to, to write here as the information, if these two sides are equal to each other, it means that these two angles are equal to each other. So also the value of this angle will be equal to x. Now, from point O, I will draw a perpendicular line to the side AB, creating a 90 degree. By doing so, I, I create a central angle, the central angle of the circle with the point O, with the center O. Now, what do we know for, from circles? We know that the central angle is always twice the value of the interior angle, because as you can see, uh, DOCA is the interior angle of the circle and the value of the central angle which is DOA is twice the value of the interior angle so if this that is X it means that this is this angle is equal to 2x now everything is easy because we are dealing with a triangle here so we know the interior angles of a triangle are equal to 180 so now it will be very easy to find the value of X so we have 180 which is equal to 90 plus x plus 2x is 3x so 3x is equal to 90 and the value of x is equal to 30 degrees